Rob Fu, can you exploit the following program to get the flag? Download the source. All right, so I've got the source here. And how strong is your Rob Fu? Snatch the shell from my hand grasshopper. So I have just a 16 byte buffer that I'm going to get to overflow. But you'll note there's no more win methods. So they're suggesting that I use ROP. ROP is return oriented programming. And what you're doing there is you're like taking little snippets out of the program near return statements. You're returning to like the ends of lots of different functions. And you're trying to build a program out of that. Uh, it's really kind of tedious to do by hand. Um, but good news is there's a tool called ROP Gadgets. And it's installed on the server. So there we go. So we'll go ROP Gadget binary vuln.7. And we're going to ask it to build a ROP chain for us. And so what it does is it's going to walk through this entire executable. And it's going to find lots of little instructions that end in return statements. And wow, that was like really big. So you can see here that I mean, lots of jumps. It's not really what I would expect. I expect more of these returns. So like here, we could zero out EAX, put something in EDI, put something in EBX, and then return. So we can piece together things like this to set the values of registers. And here we have things that like call things that are pointed to by registers. So let's see what it actually built for us at the very bottom. So I look through this giant list of these little gadgets. It says what it can do is it can put values in EDX and EBX, can put a value in EAX, can load something from EDX, uh, which is looks like it's in the looking at the data section, and then it's going to zero something out. More things, then it's going to do an int eighty. It's calling the operating system after it's set. Oh, is that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven into AX? So if we look at like Int 80 table Linux x86. So there's a system call table and EAX. What did we decide that was? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. 11 is exec VE. So it's going to call exec VE and it's probably going to try to give it. Yeah, there's like bin sh. So it's going to execute bin shell for us. So we can take all of this. tools. We'll get rid of the tab characters at the beginning of each line that we got there. Are there spaces? No, there are spaces. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's going to build up this. And it can only concatenate a string, a string, not bytes, right? So we're going to need to make these things into bytes. Right, 
so it likes that. Then we're going to need to connect to CTF nets and our port number 58389. And we'll say our.send line. We're going to need some number of A's. And then we'll add P to that. So it's going to be a huge file. So we'll dump that and set a dump. Look at the vuln method. So in the vuln method, our get s was at 18 below the frame pointer, so that's 16 plus 8 is 24, plus 4 is 8, 28. So we need 28 A's to get us to the return address, then we're going to put in that entire ROP gadget uh, chain that it was built for me, and let's say r.interactive. So this also needs to be bytes. And so it popped me into a shell. And I could just say ls, there's the flag. And you'll note that I'm running as root. Really? That's kind of amazing. There's my flag. 